Okay, here we are in our wonderful car, headed on our way to Winooski, Vermont, to our first house that we reserved on Airbnb. And why are we going to Vermont? And we're going because it's what Melissa's birthday! 30th birthday! birthday! Woo! It's my 30th birthday, can you believe it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 30th birthday! Uh uh uh. <laughs> And we packed anyway. a car full of so many awesome things. We have um, tons of, of food, fruit, fruit and vegetables, and we have our Kalima board to do some Kalimas while we're there. We have all of our awesome things to make sure we have a great time. Yeah. And we brought our camera, of course, to do this video. And so we want to share our experiences with you the whole way. Yeah. We're going to be probably listening to our non-violent communication book in the car to improve our relationship. What a great thing in the car to do, you know? <laughs> Such an awesome thing. And I'm driving. And Melissa's Can driving. Take note? So I'm she driving. is getting the experience of driving a far distance on a highway and on you know diff more difficult roads far away. So this is great. Yes. And and we'll give you more updates as we and continue also, on our journey. I haven't eaten anything yet, but I do have some pineapple down here that I have already cut up for myself. So if I do get hungry, I can munch in that. And I also have some pomegranate juice up here. So if I do get thirsty, I can have some of that as well. And I just wanted to point that out because I have not broken my fast yet. It's about 10.51. It's almost 11 o'clock, which is actually really great because I was putting the intention to leave at 11 in the morning and only leaving a little bit before. So perfect. It's perfect. And we're going to arrive at 2.20 according to our GPS because it takes about three and a half hours to get there. So yes. And as an update for my fast, my 40 day cleanse, I'm currently on a dry fast window where from starting yesterday evening, so Saturday evening, just before 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, I finished my bubbly. And that is what you do just before you start your dry fast. So I started at 8 o'clock p.m. and I'm going to dry fast all of today and break my fast right around 8 o'clock on Monday morning. So tomorrow morning I'll stop I'll break the fast. I will break it first with the bubbly, the bubbly and then I'll drink a cup of tea the after kidney that. Tea kidney tea, special tea. And then after that, I will be free to drink um, nice and slowly, maybe three to four coconuts before I drink my juice in the morning. So I'm so excited for that. We brought a lot of coconuts with us. And that's like my favorite part of the fast, is to being able to drink the coconut waters. So I'm really excited for that. And now we just got on the Taconic Tube So we're going to be in that for a little while before the next thing. Here's what it looks like ahead of us. So I like this road because there aren't that many cars and you can kind of relax and enjoy your time and have a nice conversation while you're driving and it's really wonderful. But we're yes. really happy. This car is amazing. It has a lot of space. Oh, so we also have snow tires. We have snow tires. That's so right. Even if there's, we're supposed to get snow on the day we come back, but I think we'll be okay. Our car is really good at getting through pretty much anything, which is great. I'm so glad we made that investment. I know they're a little bit more pricey compared to regular snow tires. They're just a little bit more. It wasn't that much more. But, you know, just in case there's any ice, because, you know, black ice is a real thing. And I'm scared of that a little bit, which is totally fine. And I'm embracing my fears. But uh, that's one of the reasons also why I want to practice driving. Because I'm not the best winter driver either. Because I got my license really late in life. Only about four years ago. 26, I think, right? It's 26. Yeah, I guess 26. So, sounds right. And now I'm about to be 30. 30. 30. <laughs> It's funny, I felt like I'm actually pretty close to 30 myself. So, but he's not. Um, yeah, unless it feels like she's so no, much older. I, I don't feel like you're so much older. But you're not as close as you think. Andrew is two years younger than me. Two years and like two months younger than me. So he is going to be 28 this year. Yeah. Which is like significantly close to 30, but that's still two years of like amazing things and awesome things to experience. Oh so, yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally excited it's, it's for that. I don't. Yet. No, 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 I, I, I completely, that's not, the, that's not, the, that's not what I mean. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm young. I know I'm young and it's awesome. I'm enjoying every year of my life. It's great. 
I love it. And every year I grow, I grow young. That's wonderful. So I'm just saying how old are you? How young are you? How young am I? I'm working on that. But it's yeah. not really catching on very well. I'm like, well, how young are you? And they're like, uh, how old am I? ready to eat and um, I can actually smell it through the container that's how like in tune I am <laughs> it's amazing it smells really really well, really oh, really also, good also on a side note Andrew Mr. Sniffly over here his sniffles have gone down significantly yeah I don't sniffle great. as much it used to be it's, like I mean he's still sniffling a little bit but like before that. now it's like my yeah. nose is actually running pretty regularly now for the last two days even though I have like been eating anything mucus forming so it's all mucus that you I just had in myself all, you know? and well I haven't been eating anything at all and the stuff I've been drinking is not mucus forming and so I have been really impressed that my nose just kept running so I've had to actually use tissues to blow my nose and um, that that has been completely different than what I've experienced so far and of course today is day 21 so tomorrow I'll be doing an official update for um, where I'm at in my fast. So you'll hear more about that tomorrow. As I start to complete, I've completed week three and I'll have been be head, I'll be heading into week four. So exciting stuff. Alright. Please remember, subscribe to our channel. Okay. And get, if you want to see the updates. And hit that notification for our, all of our updates. We appreciate like video, any if you like it. We're gonna both we're gonna record more of the day though, just saying. Uh because We'll have to record our Airbnb when we get there. Yeah, we'll, you know? we'll, we'll, we'll be recording more, but please comment and and like or dislike, please. Because we like we like Any feedback. Any feedback is great feedback. Thank you. Thank All right, we'll you. see you. We'll, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. We're about an hour or so in, well, more than an hour. We're um, an hour and 50 minutes Away out from our, from our destination. So we're a significant um, way along our journey and we've been we've been accomplishing a lot so far in our in our car journey. We've um, Melissa's talked to her sister Michelle and got an update from her, her sister Rocky. Sister her sister Rocky. And and also uh, it's just really beautiful. I don't know if Andrew can show what it looks like but it's like really really beautiful out here on the sides like the mountains. We're actually not even in Vermont yet. We're in the Adirondacks. Yeah, so. this is the same route that I used to take the four years that I attended Green Mountain College. It's the same route, so it's bringing back some feelings for me, and it's nice. And what are those feelings that you're feeling? The, the feelings are they're great. They're I always enjoyed this this trip up, and I enjoyed my time at, at Green Mountain College, and and I don't know nothing that specific, just positive feelings and. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's nice and I was smelling the pineapple in between when Melissa was eating it and it reminded me of being in Costa Rica and specifically the raft guiding that I did. Every time we went down a river we would stop at this specific place that was always a little hard to stop because it was right in the middle of a, of a, a gentle rapid so you'd have to paddle really quickly across the, across the river to then make it because otherwise you get swept downstream and you miss the spot but there's this really awesome trail that if you catch it right and stop the raft that you could walk into the trail and there's this amazing waterfall and every time we went through that area we stopped and we would have this wonderful pineapple and it was always cut fresh you'd make a whole big full pineapple and we cut it a very specific way. I never learned how to cut it until that until that experience. And so there's a very awesome way I've learned how to cut pineapple. And someday I'll share that with everyone here. So yeah, we're we're excited. We're about to listen to our book, Nonviolent Communication. It's we really just cool. hit a storm. It's yeah, it's now like snowy, rainy, snowish, like rain kind Joy, of yeah. precipitation hitting their windshield and making the driving a little bit more complicated, but we have good winter tires with studs, and so well, that makes Melissa feel a lot more confident in, in the driving and feel safe, For which sure. is good. Check out the rain, look at this. 
can look at the rain. There's it some cars snow. in the driveway, but it's mostly, it's mostly, mostly pretty quiet still. And it's pretty nice. So that's about it for now. And um, we'll, we'll update you again, at least when we get to our Airbnb place. But if not, if something happens before that, we'll film that too. All right, peace everyone. Hello, so we made our destination and our house that we're staying at is right next to a gas station, which is great because if we need ice or soda, just kidding, we don't drink <laughs> soda. Uh, but if, if we, we need, forgot like, anything, yeah. that is basic for what we need for to be comfortable there, and we can easily look Grab in it. the gas station for it. Yeah, so anyway, I drove the whole way, and also I had seven of these little bananas. They're really, really good, also in addition to my two cups of pineapple. Just want to put that out there because today is day 32 since breaking my 108 day fast. And yes, I was say something else. Oh, it's March 4th. It's March 4th and the 32nd day of breaking my 108 day fast, so. We got here, we're about 23 minutes away from being able to check in. And so we're going to look to see if there's a bookstore or some interesting place to kind of walk around and check out to kind of spend that time before we're ready to check in. Also, I ran a stop sign by accident. I didn't see it at all. I was confused. I didn't see it and I was like, <gasps> but luckily there was no cops. But there was a cop right here in the gas station. That's why I thought that. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you later. Cheers. I'm gonna eat another banana. They're so good. All right, bye. All right, so we just arrived at our Airbnb and it's super, super cute. Check this out. It's like a little tiny kitchen with a little, you know, little oven, the sink, a nice fridge here, a washer and dryer. Here's the little pantry over here. And then we have the bathroom. It's kind of cute, you see, like, look at that. And there's a bathtub. How cool is that? There's a bathtub. And then we have Andrew, look at him. He's sitting down, he's feeling a little tired. He's doing a dry, dry fast today. So we're not sure if we're gonna stay in this room, but like, it's pretty cute, look at that. Like, there's a little shelf. The bed's kind of nice, that pillow is a little bit weird with the fur, but you know, whatever. Um, there's a little mirror closet. And then look at this. So nice, isn't it? Like a little space area here where we can do our workout in the morning, which should be fun. And then here's the second bedroom. So we haven't really decided where we're gonna stay yet, but we just put our stuff in that other room. But like this is also really nice, you know? I think I like the other one more because it doesn't have the carpet, but the carpet does feel nice on the feet. But it's really cute, it's really fun. We're gonna stay here for the next few days. Can't wait, oh look, there's Andrew again. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm gonna go get some more things from outside. So, until a little later. Hey everyone, so we are finally here in Vermont. Andrew's actually here, I don't know if he wants to get in. He's, he's, having, he's doing a fasting day, so it's a little bit difficult. Whenever you do the dry, dry fast, it's a little bit harder to, <laughs> function as a human. Anyway, so we got here. Uh, I drove the whole time, which was great. And I unpacked everything, like we're all settled. Andrew just kind of needed to relax, but he did help me carry a lot of things up the stairs. There's quite a bit of stairs to get here. But anyway, I made myself a little salad for supper tonight. I had some kale that was gonna go bad, so I actually sauteed it a little bit because I didn't want it to be so hard on my digestion. digestion because cruciferous vegetables are a little bit hard to digest. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this out, see how my body feels. I do have my prune juice. I do have the Colina board if something like goes wrong or doesn't, you know, uh, metabolize very easily. So anyway, I have a tomato, yellow bell pepper, kale, red onion, and a tiny teeny bit of some avocado mashed up, some Florida avocado though which has, I believe, a little bit less fat than the Haas avocados. They're really creamy and they have a higher fat content than the Florida avocados, I believe. And I 
sprinkled it on. I sprinkled lemon juice on top and apple cider vinegar. There's no salt in this whatsoever, but I just wanted to let you know that that's what I'm having for supper. It smells really good. I've been definitely feeling pretty empty today and obviously this is my full day of my dry fast. I started last night and I'm gonna end tomorrow morning. I, yeah, a couple times when I was walking around in the couple stores we went to today, I stood up and I felt a little bit lightheaded. And that's, I think that's pretty normal. Like I haven't been drinking anything, so I'm just supposed to be mindful of how active I am. And I'm just actually enjoying smelling the food. I'm enjoying it because I almost feel like I'm eating it just by smelling it. So that's awesome for me. So I'm excited to be able to smell it as Melissa eats it. And that's about it. I'm excited to eat or actually drink my coconut waters tomorrow morning after my fast is over. So yeah, it's like a fast within a fast. It's kind of crazy. But you know, it doesn't feel actually that hard. I mean, it's, it's long, but I mean, if you keep your mind focused on things that keep you happy and motivated, in other ways than eating, then the time just flies by and it's all about attitude. So it's true. that's that's really what I focus on. I do some things on my computer because that makes me happy to like stay organized and and save information, learn new information and things like that. So that's my advice. If you are feeling unmotivated or, or weak or if you're doing a dry dry fast, right? If you're doing a dry fast or if you're not. Mm. If you're just lazy, feeling lazy and unmotivated, do something. Do something that makes you interested, that you know, you learn something. Mm. That's how I get through this. If I can get through a dry fast, then you can get off your butt and do something. That's what I say. There you go. Advice right. from Andrew. Saturday right. advice from Andrew. Uh, no, Sunday. Today's Sunday. Huh? Sunday. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my supper on that note. And I hope you enjoy yours. <laughs> Let's see. First bite, right? I hope I sauteed it enough. Oh, I also just sauteed it with some water. Basically, I steamed it. But I didn't have a steamer. So I just put it in some, a little tiny bit of water and just cooked it. So. Really good. Try to figure out what it reminds me of. Something. What? The smell? Yeah. The lime juice with the onions, the tomatoes. The kale is a little bit hard to chew. Mm hmm Kinda wish I could chew a little longer. But. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It'll slow you down. That's what it's going to do. Mm hmm Because you'll need to chew every bite really well. Can you notice the difference with the avocados compared to the creamier ones? Mm hmm Yeah? Yeah, they don't taste as like creamy. You know, they're like... Interesting. So, my suggestion is that we always get those avocados. They don't always have them. Instead of the creamy ones? These are the Florida avocados. Okay. Mm hmm Don't ever feel like the farm store. Okay. Well, I know that. Where did we get them from? Um, the Asian market. Oh, okay. I'm just going to check out the Asian market in person. Mm -hmm. See what they have there. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. good. Okay, so I had my kale salad. I actually had another half plate after what I filmed, but I'm now finishing everything off with the coconut water, just so you know. So the coconut water is gonna be it for me for the night. And uh, we're waiting for a plumber to come because the tub is not draining for whatever reason. It's probably clogged. So we're just waiting for them to come. And then once that happens, I'll probably take a bath, which I'm really excited about. And then that will be it for the night. And we'll wake up tomorrow. Who knows what's gonna happen? We have nothing planned. So we might not really have 
a big adventure or you might have an epic adventure and either way it'll be great because I'm here with my lovely husband Andrew and you know I'm also excited because tomorrow we're planning to start uh, an exercise routine so I cannot wait to do that and yeah that's that's it for the night so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you want to see whenever we post a video and also comment we'd love to hear from you thank you so so much for watching we so appreciate it have a great wonderful night